Hey, welcome to 1159 Videos. Today we're going to change out the spark plugs in your Honda Civics. Um, this will work with a lot of other vehicles too. Actually, some of their cords have the uh, the K24 in it and stuff. So, same principle on the four cylinders. First thing you want to do is pop out the spark plug boots. Pull out. We're going to, very important to change spark plugs every once in a while, and I'll show you exactly what I mean and why. 5 8 uh, socket, 16 millimeter work extension and a ratchet. Right, right now we're trying to beat the rain too so it just goes to show you I mean this only takes a little bit to do and we're going to pull out all the spark plugs very important this actually is like a little telltale sign of how your car is running and if your gas mileage has suffered a little bit, it doesn't hurt to do a little bit of tune-up. We're going to replace these with some NGKs right here. And they're only $2.09 each, so it's really not even a big cost to do. So let's pull them out and see what it really looks like. I pulled out all four of the spark plugs. Now they're burning about the same, but they are really extremely worn down. Um, on the Civics, there's a 44,000th clearance and stuff like that. And... Uh, you just get a little gauge like this. You can get them from Advance Auto. This one's provided by Advance Auto just for the video. And as you can see, the gap on this thing is whew, about 90 thousandths. It's supposed to be 44 thousandths. So it should be right about right here area. You see that? So let's go ahead and get the other ones out and I'll show you what I mean. Here's one of the new spark plugs right here. And these are I mean, they are really close to where they're supposed to be. They come up right at 44,000. So, I mean, that's right what they're supposed to be. NGK, I really like them. They do great with the Japanese vehicles. These are built in Japan, made in Japan. They came on all my motorcycles, all my Nissan 240Zs. I really do like the uh, NGKs. Um, great price, great performance. So let's go ahead and get these in. The other thing I want to show you real quick is to make sure you check in each one of your holes and make sure you don't have any oil down in there or oil up on these boots because if you do, then that means you got a, a leak you need to address. The other thing too is we're going to put a little bit of anti-seize. Now they sell smaller packets of this in advance. I've got the bigger one. We're going to put a little bit on here. Sorry if it sounds like I'm talking fast, but I'm trying to beat this rain. Now, I had another video and the guy's like, oh my god, you put a whole bunch on there. Well, you know, if you got that much on there, all you're going to do anyways is just kind of, you just want a little bit on there. You can rub it around just like that, and that way you got it on there, it's pretty even. So, we're going to go ahead and just put it in the hole, and then let the socket actually kind of align it up. Don't use an impact on this, so let's go ahead and get the rest of them done. I'm going to start tightening it up. Also, a good thing you can do too is on the top of your spark plugs you can put a little bit of dielectric grease around the top kind of keeps all the corrosion down so let's get this uh let me show you what i mean now after you get a little bit of uh the anesthesia on the back side all you're going to do is on the top side a little dab of do you i mean and they sell this also in small packets and just a little bit like that you can rub it around it but that keeps the corrosion down, it, keeps it, it makes it easier for popping it back off too. So let me get this tightened up and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, with all the spark plugs already, I put a little bit of the uh, dielectric grease on the top. I got the, um, the anesthesia on the bottom. We're trying to beat this rain, it's starting to sprinkle even harder on me now. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this bad boy up, put the spark plugs back in and go from there. Now, we're going to do another one on replacing the spark plug or the wires, but they're really simple to do. Just take one off at a time and follow it around. Um, you know, if the spark plug wires are in great shape, you can check them at night too. I'm going to do another video on how to check your spark plug wires. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this in, get it buttoned up, and um, fire her up. There's no reason why you shouldn't, you can't change out your spark plugs all by yourself. This is pretty easy. There is a couple vehicles that are pretty tricky. Some of the Nissans are horrible at pulling out threads, especially some of the Altimas. Then you got the 544s. They're really bad about breaking off in the hole. So, anyways, let me go ahead and get this buttoned up. And we'll be done. All right, all of the spark plugs are snugged up. I'm putting about the boots back in it, and uh, we're done. So, just in time, because the rain is really starting to come down on me now. 
So anyways, 1159 videos, we're out.